Hello, this is Keith, and this is a user training video for the Real Estate Edition of Plan Plus Online. In this video, we will be discussing how to create a custom external client portal. The external client portal is a portal that you can use to share the details of a listing and any updates that you wish to share with your clients, and it's located in the Opportunity section underneath the Listings tab. The external portal is a great way to save time in providing updates for your clients and allow them real-time access and creating a custom portal will allow you to select which information is included in that portal. Here we are over in our Plan Plus Online demo account. I am on the account tab. I've clicked account setup, opportunity, setup page layout and then what I'm going to do is click right here on the opportunity link on the very top and you'll see the advanced setup external portal profile right here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. I'm going to name this My Custom Portal. Click New. And here you'll see up in my Page Layout section, I now have a portal layout named My Custom Portal. Now, if you click Edit here, you'll edit the name of that portal. So you click this little plus over here. And just for the record, anytime you see a plus, it means that that page layout has not been edited. So you can go ahead and click that link. And you'll see a page that's similar to the page layouts on many of the other fields where you can select the values from any of the custom fields that you've created. Let's say I wanted to have the customer snapshot instead of the full customer. Or let's say that I wanted to clear all of these fields. I didn't want any of those on my page layout. I'm going to go ahead and clear all of them. I'm going to add back in the opportunity name, customer snapshot, and a few others. Okay, so I've selected a few additional fields. And you'll notice this is an important step right here. You need to click the submit button at the bottom of the page. And as soon as you do that, you'll be given another set of options to choose which pieces of data you want to include in your external portal. So if you want to include every single piece of communication, tasks, notes, appointments, and process steps, go ahead and leave those all checked. If there's anything that you wanted to hide, you could unselect those so they won't show up in the client portal. Okay, now that we've created that external portal, we need to just go and take a look at it. So the way we use the external portal, we'll go find one of our opportunities that represents a listing. We'll go down here to the listing tab and we'll grab this URL. We'll paste that URL into the browser just to simulate what it would look like sending it. And there you have it. There's our custom portal with the information that we've selected. Here's all the tasks, notes, and other communication history that have happened on this property. So that's how you create a custom external portal. You can also watch our related topics on entering a listing or editing an email template so you can send that portal out or the video on external client portal. Thank you.